we would like to talk through some of the different challenges that are often faced in the mid-market and actually why multi-tenancy should be at the center of your considerations when it comes to developing your mid-market contingent workforce strategy. Maybe a good place to start, Chris, is just by asking you, what is the, the actual core mid-market challenge that the organizations may face? So the biggest challenge, I guess, for the mid-market is the volume, right? Um, so there's a point where the, it's becoming feasible to have a VMS in place and to actually deliver uh, enterprise-level services. So, in fact, really, the mid-market challenge is to re uh, we require enterprise-level services and technology. Being a mid-market customer uh, with a smaller volume of, of, of workers, it's just not feasible to put technology in uh, place, let alone provide services in an enterprise level. So, really, um, providing enterprise-level services with inefficient tooling it actually kills your margin uh, being a, a partner because um, if you want to deliver enterprise level services, that means that you have to do it manually or use alternatives such as, well, I, I'm afraid to say it out loud, uh, Excel, SharePoint, uh, so you don't use a, a, a VMS tool. So I think uh, if you would have a solution to cope with this situation, uh, you will actually be able to develop the mid-market, uh, have more customers using a VMS and your enterprise-level services. Let's take it on one hand, enterprise-level services and enterprise-level tooling. On the other hand, you've got the efficiency and affordability. Well, actually, it's always a, a conflict. Uh, so you have to fight upon it. You cannot choose within uh, having enterprise-level services uh, and enterprise level tooling and efficiency and affordability. Or can you? Here comes in native. So what we, uh, uh, what we did is we had a completely different approach uh, towards the way we build our VMS. And we build it uh, from ground up uh, to cope with multiples of customers. And also with the vision that if you put VMS in place within any MSP led program, that you have to let the sun shine by no functional limits. So give everything to the partner, give everything to the MSP, uh, what's uh, uh, feasible for their programs so that they can provide enterprise level services. So technology should never be a restriction on, on the type of services and the amount of services you provide to your customer. On the other hand, uh, what is making this possible for you and for us is that we've changed our VMS to accommodate the fact that you are able to deliver uh, customization that is necessary to deliver enterprise level services as a commodity. So you don't have to choose for a vanilla implementation every time. You don't have to choose for a vanilla technology every time. You can choose whatever you find suit for your customer. Your customer wants certain services and you need to put a tailor-made application in there in order to drive adoption. With a vanilla implementation, you cannot drive adoption.